Hello YouTubers, your electronics fanatic here today and I'm going to be giving you a basic soldering video and uh, I'm just going to start here with some of the tools that you'll need here if I can get it to focus, there we go uh, you need some solder Um, some way to pick up the solder in case you make a mistake. This one here happens to be a uh, solder pump. Well, a desolder pump. Got some uh, wire clips here. And just an ordinary pair of pliers. And just in case got some wire strippers here. You're also going to need a pair of safety glasses. And then you also don't want to forget is your solder. Well, your soldering iron. Solder is right here. Soldering iron. This one's just a basic soldering iron. Nothing too fancy about it. Uh, just everything to basically solder with and that's really all you'll need for just basic soldering there's uh, quite a bit more that you could get but like I said this one's just a basic soldering technique video just to give you an idea of how everything works and uh, let's go ahead and get started here I'm just gonna switch to the camera view here just a sec Okay, and what we're going to be using today is a kit that uh, I got from school, and it is called the Micro Dice 2. This isn't something that you can, you know, find just anywhere. Like I said, I got it from my uh, school library, so this is something uh, that uh, my school gives me to help me, you know, learn the basics for soldering. So go ahead and pull this out here and just show you what's all included in the kit GNC it's got yourself a basic 9 volt battery nothing too fancy about that and of course you got the, uh, the board which you'll be using to solder all the different components to just a really basic board uh, nothing really fancy about it. We got ourselves a, an IC and a switch here it looks like. Uh, that big piece there is the uh, switch. That's the IC and this one happens to be the AT Tiny 85 and then we have here looks like it's the uh, socket for the AT Tiny 85 there we've got looks like seven uh, resistors here Give me focus there we go those are 220 ohm looks like 220 ohm with uh, 5 percent uh, tolerance there Got some rubber feet. And the 9 volt battery connector. Nothing too fancy about that. Uh, it does look like they have already pre tinned the uh, tips there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that where you can see it. Uh, don't think you can, but they have been uh, pre tinned, and that's important for when you're. You're soldering, you know, wires like this here. So that's something that we won't have to do with that. Uh, a bunch of LEDs here. Looks like there's uh, going to be seven of those. Uh, voltage regulator, and I think this one is a 7805 voltage regulator. It'll uh, 
convert the 9 volts from this down to 5 volts so that uh, it works with the uh, AT Tiny 85. And the last two items are, looks like one, microfarad capacitors. Two of those. So that's all that's in the kit. And like I said, this is going to be what they call an electronic dice kit. So we can go ahead and get st started soldering with this. And let's grab the PCB board. And we'll get started. I think what we'll all do is go ahead and uh, set this out here, and I'll start with the uh, the socket here. That looks like that'll be the easiest to do. I'm going to uh, zoom in here a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. Well, before I get started on that, I forgot that I'm going to need to uh, tin my solder iron right here. So let me just zoom in here a little bit and show you that. Okay, here's the tip of my uh, soldering iron, and it needs to be uh, tin. So I'm going to uh, wipe it on the sponge here really quick. And then grab my solder. And basically, what you want to do is touch the tip with the solder. There we go. And it should be tinned and ready to go. Just gonna wipe it off and we'll get started here. What that does is that just helps you uh, to solder to the joints a lot easier when uh, you actually start soldering your uh, components. So, grab that socket again here and I'm gonna place that on the board. I don't know if you can see that number one spot there, but that's where I'm going to put it. And i got to line the socket up a specific way here. It's going to fit in just like that with that little notch there facing upwards. And what I'm going to do here is get some tape, tape that down. So it's a little easier for me to solder the back part of it here. Alrighty. As you can see there, it's uh, sticking right up through the PC board. And you can go ahead and start to solder it. Zoom in here a little bit more for you. It's going to be kind of hard for you to see here. But you can place this tip of the iron right on where you're going to solder there. And it should get it to solder on there.
Alrighty, I'm gonna finish soldering here and I'll be back in just a minute for uh, part two.